Hello everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we are finally addressing the stamina issue. What do I mean by that? I am basically meaning that if you don't know how to spend your stamina or if you don't spend your stamina wisely, you're going to regret it really hard, right? So in today's video, I'm going to go over what are the best ways, the most efficient ways of spending stamina. Now, there are a couple of personal opinions or personal preferences, so keep that in mind. I will tell you when it's my opinion and when it's not like actual facts. Uh, and, and also we're going to use a website from Pridwen for all the materials uh, to farming routes that you can, uh, farming stages that you should prioritize instead of others. But first of all, let's get over with the with it by starting on the wilderness, right? Now, you will have a finite amount of stamina. It's 180, you get plus, 180 plus, it depends on your level. I'm pretty sure we, we're going to end up at 200 because the uh, the inside stages and the the farm stages for dust and sharp odonti go up to four runs when they're capped and they 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 use 100 stamina each so i'm assuming that we will end up having 200 stamina cap so that way we can potentially do four runs of sharp odonti four runs of dust now do you want do you have to do that no we'll go we'll go over it in just a second now in the wilderness now yes it is a good idea to uh I level up the wilderness and expand a little bit on the update uh, on the upgrade of the dust belt tower and sharp bounty but do not go super hard on them for example on the dust belt tower you could let me also enable the audio you could upgrade everything to five but do not do that also do not do that super super early start doing that after everybody is more or less around i2 level 30 because that, that that's the when you need a lot of dust and this kind of stacks up a little bit because this one basically gives you 3.8 and it goes by it goes from I'll, I'll show you here here it goes from 2.5 to 3.8 while this one level 3 and level 4 it only goes up 400 the level 4 level 5 goes up a lot by by 1.3k which is a lot right so having everything like this everything level 5 will make it and level 6 is gonna be crazy but you, we can't do it yet i need to finish the level like uh, leveling up my paleo hall and level 5 and level 6 are very uh good but we don't need them yet so wait a, wait a bit before you do level 5 plus because like you need a lot of dolls and you're gonna have to farm a lot of dolls right every stage gives you the max stage gives you I believe 25 dolls and a possible yellow one so if you don't get the yellow one you're not going to be able to do five or six so that's more stamina so keep 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 in mind that you might waste a lot of stamina so don't do it until you really need a lot of passive income but do upgrade until level three right now on the wishing spring yes upgrade spring but the last update it's a little expensive and it makes it makes it possible to craft materials that you can use to uh, i3 or resonance high your characters now these materials are very 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 expensive and the materials that are in it are pr most most of the time purple and really annoying to get and not fixed so you have an option to like farm them right and farm the blue one and then make the the purple items for with some exception like the bifurcated skeleton it's almost possible almost doable efficient more efficient to farm it instead of making it because from the stage of and we'll see it in a second from the bifurcated sta uh, skeleton stage you also get all the materials used in many other crafters so but before you get to the, the highest level wait until your characters are on the classic pre final limbo spot which is i2 level 30 which with your dps with on i2 level 40 or 50 right at that point then you need to upgrade at least your dps right so at that point if you want to do i3 then you can upgrade to level four but before level four you don't really need many yellow materials right so you don't need to do this and it requires a quite a bit of material so keep that in mind do not do that before uh you are ready to i3 
for the purple one you can get the purple one earlier on the on the third upgrade so you will be fine on those and you can stay on those for the longest time that you want right because those are always good they also use for the yellow ones now let's go back and check uh, let me do this boom okay let's go back and check other stuff now let's go on to the character uh, page now on the character page you have of course a bunch of characters for limbo what you want to do is uh, try and get two main dps's for lim for limbo two main dps's two supports and two healers or two defenders shielders i don't know if you have miss babel or or um tenant right if you have those you can use those if you don't have anything else but it's probably more advice to use a healer now what you want to do is to level everybody to i2 level 30 with your dps two main dps's uh on on the verge of i3 if not i3 depends if you are free to play or not if you're not if you're, not, if you're free to play you won't be able to get i3 anytime soon so you can stop at i2 level 50 you you won't be able to do i3 right because it requires a lot of materials if you don't know how much it requires i will show you really quick in sight you need 16 books of the Aflatus that they need, five of something, in my, in Lilia's case, five boogeymen, and three fleeces, which is uh, the highest amount, is the orange, orange tier, and it needs more yellows to make three of these, yeah? So, and a lot of money, 50k. Now, you won't be able to do that anytime soon, but for now, let's do. First of all, you do the level, right? Second of all, you do the insight, then you do the side tube and then you do the resonate right so you do the level first get them to, le to level 50 or 30 if they're support or healer then you do the insight inside two of course they, they, oh, they're almost like together right and then you do the the side tube which at least level 40 you can stop a level 40 for the level um level uh, rarity six for the rarity six you can stop at 40 until limbo 15 you can you can survive with 40 40 is fine at limbo 15 you might want to level them up and get to the to the next tier i didn't do that yet but you should probably focus in that way right on the five one that you might have the, the ones that you have for free do not buy more just buy just get use the one that you got for free go use the ones that you have get them to like 30 ish and then you are you will be fine until limbo 15 limbo 15 is a little bit of a soft cap when it comes to power of your team it's gonna you're gonna have to stop and really increase your your power after the so six star level 40 plus depends on what limbo you are on it's uh, if if below 15 you can stay on 40 and the the five one you can stop at 25 like i did but you can also do a little bit of a little, little bit more to 30 uh, but I really don't want to spend any more currency because like the level 61, level 6, um, rarity 6 are the best ones to invest on, to me, to be honest. So let's just not focus too much resource on the uh, 5 one. Now, let's go back and let's touch on resonate. The resonate now on your DPS uh, depends on your limbo, depends if you're a spender or free to play. If you're a free to play, don't do 9. You can stay at 7, 8. You can... You can stay at seven and clear and clear the first stage of limbo 15 for for without any issue right you can do that but if you want to progress further you want to do resonate eight nine or even ten or at least on the dps and on the others that are supports and healers you can stop at seven ish depends on like if they're more squishy or not what are they what is what's this their kit if they have shields maybe you can stay, stay at seven if they don't have shields they don't have, don't have many uh ways of uh applying sturdiness or shields or healing a lot or some count or something right in that case maybe do maybe you can do eight right because uh it doesn't it doesn't feel like but it increases everything at the same time a little bit as you can see here on the level 10 that we can check the level 10 is going to give me a lot of stats even though it's not too much but 200 extra hp and 20 reality death 15 mental death is gonna it's gonna help a little bit more right also the capacity is gonna increase it's gonna increase by five to from five by five to six by six at at eight i think so you might want to level them up if you are struggling to survive so that's an option plus i will make a video about resonance builds that i found 
to that I that I found. So we can like go over them and have different characters have different builds, right? So now let's go back and go and, and talk about the um, the mats, right? So if you want to resonate or insight, you're gonna need some mats. The mats that are here are extremely expensive and you need, the, the, the only way to get them most of the time, especially the yellow ones, are from the stages, right? Story stages. Now, on the story, what do you want to, what do, you want to do on the story? You don't really want to clear the story for the maximum amount of stars yet, because you need the stamina for, from those stages to do the proper stages instead, to farm materials. So... Personally, I haven't finished getting the stars because what I'm gonna get is just pulls, and I don't need to pull to any uh, anyone until 1.2. I have Sotheby, and I don't need a knight. I'm gonna skip Matilda, uh, Matilda, Matilda. I'm gonna skip Matilda because she doesn't have uh, portraits, but I'm gonna skip Melania and Pickles uh, because I don't need them for my teams, and I'm just gonna wait. So I don't need the pulls right now. I need to be better, uh, better. I need to better my team, right? So. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the wilderness, check which materials I need, right? And then once I know what what purple I need to farm, in this case it's the is the head, the the bird and the and the ingot. Then we go to a Pridwin website, which is extremely good, and I will link it in the description. It's gonna be extremely uh, efficient and good. Now you have two ways of playing here, right? You could do what they say and do and do the stage that they tell you to do. Sometimes though, the, especially on the blue materials down here, on the, blue, on the blue material here, not always you can guarantee uh, them when you do a multiple uh, material stage. Let's say, okay, liquefied terror, you don't have the chance of getting it in this, in, on this, right? But you have, Magari, uh, more chance to get it, maybe, right? on another stage let's say stage 115 hard it has fixed but it doesn't give you other materials you could choose to if you need like two liquid terror you can just choose to do those two instead of doing a stage that has the 70 percent of getting you what you need that you need only two of because on that stage, you can get also two other materials you need for other stuff. Yes, it's more efficient, but it's gonna a little slow. It's gonna be slowing up a little bit potentially if you're unlucky. Your progress, and you're gonna have to do four stages instead of two, because like you got unlucky twice, and you didn't get your one material, and you didn't get it. You got the other materials. Yes, super efficient, but at the same time, you still did four stages instead of two, right? So be careful, think a little bit when, what you need, how many do you need? If you have any, if you can buy them, if you can get them from the free boxes, it will show up when you click the material. If you can get them from something at, on top of the craft in the wilderness, there will be another option that you click and there's gonna be one of those boxes where you can choose them from. And that would be, you do that first Especially if they're like real, real rare materials, like Solidus, for example, the stupid ass coin and that, that, this fucking shit. So Solidus is doesn't have any fixed stage. As you, as you can see here, rare, rare, possible, possible, hard, possible, right? Pawn shop and craft. The only way for you to make it is to craft or to drop it, and it doesn't have a high, a nice drop. And it's the only blue material that requires two green items and there's a ton of green items and five and five you need five you need ten green items to make a solidus so you might want to farm the solidus instead and it says here in the pridwen website for the solidus directly farming so solidus isn't advised there is no dedicated node that can also have that also has purple materials this it's it's true but at the same time this is to do a, sp um, a perfect stamina efficient stage, which is not always possible, right? So the only, the highest drop chance is 3-5 hard. So you can choose to do 3-5 hard for 46% or farm the green ones. Now, personally, even though they're high, they're high, they're, there's a lot of those that you need to farm you should probably farm the green materials instead because you're not actually farming the green materials. You are farming, for example, the bifurcated skeleton and you will also get two 
a broom broom things there uh through two spells of banishing every time you do the stage right so that's so you you you're going to you're going to do the materials there by doing a purple mat so you'll eventually have enough but solidus is the most obnoxious material in the game because it needs two green for some reason and it's a blue material and you need a you need like three or four or five especially for resonance uh, so materials be careful try to farm the ones that are fixed and to to maximize and combo you can use the website to combo the purple mats with the you do a purple mat stage that you can get where you can get the purple mat and at the same time you get fixed amount of really common and used uh, very very much used materials that you use everywhere right that you can craft other stuff that is blue with right so now let's move on to the uh, to the resource stages now resource stages let's quickly touch on the resource stages when you get to the stages of course on the resource you want to do the numa analysis try to use the two only do the two numa analysis do not do more sure you might feel like you want to get more of these because you want to level up but do not do it because you're going to lose a lot of stamina you're not going to get many more unless you are a whale if you're a whale you know why are you watching this video just just refresh eight times and, and do it now if you're a free to play or a light spender you still don't want to use too much stamina on the besides the free uh the free stages you don't need you don't want to do stamina stages instead right because like this is eight this doesn't give much it's the blue one this doesn't give much towards the level 40 plus right it's not going to do anything the one stage is going to give you like 15 uh tough tough element right it's going to only give you a bunch. It's not going to be enough to buy a lot of these. Enough to make a difference to make the stage worth. You know what I mean? So do not do the stages beside the, the, the free one. Use the free daily ones to progress until 7. Once you clear 7, stay here, of course. Stay here and do the, do the stage twice every day. Same applies with the other resources. Specifically, Dust and Sharpodonti. Now, when it comes to level up a character, you don't need as many Sharpodonti as you need Dust. So, try not to focus too much on the Sharpodonti. Do like... It. So, right now, we all have more or less a 180 stamina, right? So, we'll be able to do four stages of Dust and three of Sharpodonti. Now, what you can do is, personally, this is a little bit personal, so we keep that in mind. Personally, I like to do four stages of Dust because it's 25, it's a 100 stamina, then go back, go here, and do either three stages of Sharpodonti, or two stages of Sharpodonti, and one stage of Harvest Prime, so I can get a little bit of dolls to passively, slowly, but surely upgrade my towers, right? So I will eventually reach maxed, maxed uh, upgrade on the tower. So that's why I think that it's, it's a good idea, in my opinion, uh, Yep, so, Insight, same concept, get to the highest amount, if you can. I haven't done it on everybody, on everything, because I don't need to. Yes, I'm missing a little bit of J, of, uh, of um, crystals, uh, crystal drops, but I don't need, at the moment, I don't have a, I don't have a, um, a DPS that I want to I3. I don't have a DPS to I3 on uh, on a mineral, right? So I'm not going to do... Do not progress these stages if you don't have a character that needs the yellow one, right? And even then, you only need the yellow one on I3. So if you have any mineral, even... I have Balloon Party, right? She's I3 level 30. I2. <laughs> I wish. I2 level 30. So I'm not going to do this stage regardless. This one doesn't give you the other. So... This one gives you yellow, but it doesn't give you... Probably, maybe the 6 and the 7 will start giving you. I don't know. Maybe not. But the you want to go back and do the the one that you need the the specific tier for, right? So you, you, need, you do 4 for the purple. And you if you need a little bit of blue, you do, you do the 2, right? So when it comes to these ones... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing these for Lilia, but I don't really need to at the moment. So if you are in my, in my position, first level to 50 
and then start working. Well, after everybody's 50, after you did the, the Sage Cube is fine, it's 40, the Resonance is 8. At this point, 8 or 7, depending on the role, at this point, you start, you go back here and you start doing the stages. Because you don't have, you don't have to get the, the yellow books before I2 level 50 anyway, because you can't, you can't do I3 yet. You need to be level, you need to be capped, right? So now I do these stages and I, and I try to max the stage out and do, uh, invest some stamina that will come back later. Maybe not exactly now because 1.1 is coming. So I'm going to chill a little bit. Uh, I, I'm fine not clearing Limbo. I'm not a whale. So I don't have blasted characters that have like insane. I, and I don't have like four I3 characters that are 10, right? So I'm not going to clear Limbo. Uh, full star the last two stages anyway. I feel like in a long time, maybe like a couple weeks. So... I'm not gonna care about it until I need to care about it, if you know what I mean. So for now, I can chill with my i3. I don't need to i3 Lilia right now. It's not gonna change anything. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be able to clear 15 and 16 full star with um, ex5 and ex6. I, I say 16 because I'm stupid. Uh, Limbo ex5 and ex6 with just one i3 r10 right everybody needs to be good otherwise you're still gonna die and it's gonna be just lilia unless you have eternity maybe you solo if you solo maybe that's possible but if besides that besides some weird meme like sacrifice or i don't know something like that besides some weird meme, if you do it properly normal with a normal team you need everybody needs to be good otherwise you're gonna get one shot right because the the garbage uh, matilda in the garbage in the garbage on um, on limbo 5 Hits for 2.5k on like a I2 low resonance, low side tube, I2 level 20 character. 2.5k, right? If they if she crits. So it's ridiculous, right? So I don't think there is anything else. Uh when it comes when it comes to to use your candies, at the moment, hold your candies. Do not refresh. Do not. I don't know why. There are some, I saw some videos, people refreshing two or three times a day and saying that it's worth. It's not. We are, we just started the game. You don't have to do anything. It's just limbo. Besides, if we get the Utu uh, content, it's not going to require you to be I3 anyway. You can just do it properly by doing their mechanics. They have fade cards and shit like that, right? So the characters are going to be tuned for Utu. You don't need, you don't need I3. And if, even if you do, you don't have to do it now. It's it's a long-term game, guys. You uh, Chill your FOMO. You don't have to waste a pool every day. Are you crazy? Especially it's free to play. Do not, do not use the fucking crystal refresh. Are you, are you crazy? Uh, not you. People that I've saw online. Holy shit. So I, see, so I saw some weird stuff online. People like at, saying like, oh, you guys, you can, you can just... Refresh three times, it's fine. It's not fine. You don't get 120. You use 60 every time and it gets higher and higher after the first. If you do it once, it becomes 90. I did it once to check. Once. And I was like, ew. It becomes 90 after the second one. So you waste I, an entire pool just with two refreshes. And you got 100 stamina where as much as you can do is get, what, 30k? 40k 50k dust 50k dust that you can and 50k dust is three levels three four levels on uh, at, at the, the end of i2 it's like it's 13k every level 47 48 49 is 13k so it, it, you wasted a pull for 200 activity that increases your character by three levels and if you farm materials, uh, you're still gonna use around yeah, you, you, in 200 activity for materials. Let's assume you're farming for purple ones, right? You will use probably every everything everything of this this 200 that you got and get maybe three materials, three or four materials if you're lucky. Now many upgrades that require purples they don't require just one purple they require like three or four or five and it just it's not just one type of purple there's multiple purples money and maybe something else right so 
this is a mega an omega waste it is a crazy waste so please do not use the stamina uh, refresh with the crystals especially if you are free to play do not get baited by the fomo you are not you don't need to rush anything the game is gonna stay here it's it's, it's not even p it's not it's not even pvp there's not even a leaderboard so why are you trying to do everything right now right so take it slow a little bit a little bit enjoy the game a little more just don't make huge mistakes in terms of stamina but sure Try to be efficient because it's it's better as even as free to play you want to be efficient but at the same time do not go overboard by using crystals that you need to pull in this game we don't need we don't get a ton of pulls and we only get like 40 50 per patch 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 cycle so it's gonna be a it's gonna be if you waste stuff on if you waste crystals especially as free to play you're gonna have troubles in the long term uh, uh, on pulling characters because you're not you're gonna you're gonna be missing 10 20 pulls right if we uh, if you keep doing it this every day right it's not gonna help much and for for your stamina and you're gonna miss pulls over time you're gonna lose pulls okay one day one pull in 20 days in two weeks you you'll be you'll be wasting uh five to ten pulls which it's a huge deal because like you don't really have too much right so uh, for, for pulling characters. There's also a 70 PT and there's a 50-50 and there's many characters that you need to get. There's Tooth Fairy, Changeling, Melania, Pickles, Black Dwarf, Shamane, uh, Centurion Rerun, Voyager, uh, like other characters that are rerun, Medicine Pocket, uh, 37, 6. It's like, yeah, so you get what I mean? Now, I don't think there is anything else that I that I should say for, st for stamina related stuff, maybe in the bank. Let's do a little wrap up if there is anything that uh, can help. I don't know if it helps a little bit if you don't know, but do the will if you don't know about the wilderness, watch my video about the wilderness, go back in the videos and there's a wilderness video that I made that explains this, but m getting a better will wilderness will passively help you in getting uh, currency. So it helps a little bit the more vigor you have. The vigor is the bell on your in your team park team park wilderness thing that you made right so th there are there are as you can see different uh, tiers of color the higher the tier the more the more uh bell they give you the more vigor they give you right so on the fragment shop yep do not get these only buy en enhancement materials do not do uh the more stages past the free ones oniric shop on the oniric shop you should prioritize the crystal casket because you, because you can only buy two per month and this this is needed for r10 and it costs a lot and you don't get too much per month but from the from limbo and artificial somnambulism so is this only for this is not even from limbo yeah artificial somnambulism only so every couple days whenever uh somnambulism resets you can get more oniric and oniric rewards right and get these first because it's two per month so i wasted one because uh, it's not november and i didn't buy anything right because it didn't have 150 so get the crystal casket first at least one and then buy five knell which are the, the ones that are uh discounted because you need five for r10 so you, you with permanent limit you can get 10 we can get two characters to r10 with these uh enough knells for 40 percent off and then you're gonna have to buy five per month which is another thousand so per month if you want to do r10 with outside events because it will get we will get these on the events so keep that in mind we, we, we will get one crystal casket and 10 knell i believe or eight from the 1.1 event so you can get that one so you can hold on the you might you might hold on the crystal casket and get the one for free from the shop and then buy the knell which is which are you can buy 10 at 40 percent off so you can probably do one slash two potential r10 for free at least the big the big uh, uh, items right so i don't think there is anything else now so i will stop here if you guys have any other questions or that, that come in your mind or, or you're dub dubious or something something you want to know more about something else let me know in the comments if you like the video leave a like and that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.